Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. All right, so we're going to start off with the Kipper deck here. What is going on for the Gemini? What's going on for... Okay, the car wanted to come out. House. Okay, so you could be in a relationship message. Um, so somebody could have found out, um, I don't know, saw text messages or saw something here. Um, this could even be kind of a, a long distance relationship too. It's like maybe somebody poured out their heart or someone said something really nice or they really were being vulnerable about um, a, a relationship or about being in a relationship with someone. OK, this message could have already come to you or it could be coming to you. What is this house here? It's like something is arriving. OK, yeah, it's like, all right. Yeah. Message of concern. It's like, yeah, somebody is really saying something to you that is really going to move you or you've done this you have poured your your heart out you let somebody really know how you felt what you want what you desire maybe from them maybe how you feel um how you're sad or you're saddened by or this is what someone's done in, in terms of you in terms of a relationship you may have even found out something here about your partner or, or found messages or something it's caused someone to be in despair not knowing how to get the relationship back for somebody it's like look this is the final straw this is the final nail in the coffin it's a no it's a no-go i'm good we're done and and it puts somebody else in a place of imprisonment Maybe somebody also kind of found their voice or just really started to um, accept themselves and really uh see their worth see that they are resourceful and maybe even deserving of something so much more and that this relationship is just way too hard to deal with and maybe they were stuck here or somebody was stuck on them or you was or they were stuck on you yeah now somebody's stuck here it, it looks like as soon as you took your power back gemini it's like now this person is obsessed stuck on you and, and that's a very tricky place to be in because what it says is for you to be interested in me, I have to show disinterest in you. There always has to be a displacement of feelings. It can't ever be equal or um, yeah, equal or they can never be harmony. We can never feel the same way or be on the same wavelength. And, and that's drama. And that's chaotic. And that's karmic. And that's toxic. And that's so many other different things. Um, so it's like maybe, um, yeah, now somebody wants to chase you. Or, or vice versa this is what you're up to you know now that somebody has uh, removed themselves or they have taken their power back their energy from you yeah someone could be handsome and maybe that's why somebody put up with a lot you know a lot of you know a lot of shit yeah it made them soft you know maybe it made you soft you know in, in terms of dealing with this person because of their looks or their outer appearance maybe you um you like the attention you would get when you're with this person or vice versa this is how they felt also it's like yeah somebody's like I'm, I'm good i'm not making any moves and i'm moving away from you okay someone also could be saying look i'm moving away from you but then they're not moving yeah somebody put up boundaries look i can't talk after 8 p.m and it could be either that they have someone else or it's more so look i'm just i'm good on you know doing my thing and living my life i'm trying to be healthy and move on you know i'm trying to be in a loving situation here okay um let's get some advice for you gemini close this out let's see what is the advice for gemini here what is the advice for gemini yeah the will of fortune will of change maybe you've changed your mind about maybe a sagittarius or a pisces Five of Wands, it was too much competition. It was too much fighting for this person's affection, uh, attention, uh, fighting for, you didn't even know what you were fighting for. You didn't know what you were going to get. You know, this was like, I guess I'll keep fighting. Eight of Swords, this person had you all trapped in your mind. They also had taken the power 
away from the relationship, always waiting for them to reach out or waiting for them to make a move or waiting. They kept you in that mental prison. And it seems like, you know, the advice is to get out of that. Yeah, the Ten of Cups, find your happiness elsewhere. Find harmony. It's funny. It says harmony. We talked about harmony. Find harmony elsewhere. Find the truest and the highest level of happiness elsewhere. And it could be with your family. It could be with um, making amends or calling a, calling a truce um, with someone that maybe you're on the outs with. This also is... Um, yeah, fortune after difficulty. Well, yeah, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. It makes something real. Like, you're going to get something real once you... Um, it looks like you had to cut somebody off and hold that and take your energy in a new direction. But it looks like this person is going to kind of chase you for a while. This person is now wanting you know, longevity with you. You could be in a marriage. This is like, maybe you want, you want to make the marriage real. It's a family dynamic. You want to, you know, yeah. It's like somebody is like not divorcing, deciding to not divorce or deciding to not give up. Valentine's Day could have been significant. Somebody... It came in the reverse. Maybe somebody feels like someone's not a good mother or th they can't procreate. That's what I have here, uh, Gemini. It's just like maybe um, something is going to change within your dynamic here, within your relationship. You can find out that somebody is married. That's what I'm getting to. Somebody can already have someone. That they're taking serious, but they want to have you too as fun. If somebody just sees uh, infertility with the relationship. S Valentine's Day could definitely been significant. Maybe there was a blow up or a fight. Um, you you're both not going your separate ways, or somebody's not going their separate way. Um, somebody is not divorcing, not letting it go. They said they would, but then they they want to work on it. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.